found myself caught up in the marketing, kind of lost track of the larger picture. I realized I was creating desires that really weren't there and making products that nobody really needed. Slowly that sort of caught up with me and I got on what I consider the other side of the line, which is working on environmental and conservation issues. I started coming here, Patagonia first came in 1961. I thought, gee, oh, this is an incredible place. I wonder if anybody ever thought about the possibilities of conservation here. There are movements suggesting that nature needs half. I think nature needs a lot more than half, but let's start with half. You can come and take a look and you can tread lightly there, but it has to be left alone. National parks have a lot of benefits. One is they get people out into nature. They disregard one's socioeconomic status. They represent a good form of, of social equity. They belong to everyone. It comes back to that idea that Dave Brower put in our heads about paying your rent for living on the planet. Personally, I can hear my biological clock ticking very loudly in my ears. We have a lot of projects to, to do and, and to finish before we're finished. We'd like to say goodbye to the world, having had a fundamental hand in creating national parks. That's our thing. We're gonna get this done. It's just a matter of time.